Hey there, fellow crafters. I am back with another little tutorial for you. This time, showing you how you can use Inkscape to take a photograph that you have and make it into a cut file or an SVG. So, a lot of times people have photographs of loved ones uh, that they want to maybe make a, a memorial block or even put on like a shirt uh, or use to etch or paint like a black and white image on, onto something. So, I see a lot of requests for converting a photo. So this is quick, easy. Uh, Inkscape is free at inkscape.org. Um, and you know it, it looks scary, but I promise it's not as scary as it looks. So again, I'm going to show you how you can do this in just a few easy steps. The first thing you have to do is you have to import the photo into Inkscape. And you have actually like at least three or four ways that you can do that. The first is right here, there's this little white paper with an arrow pointed to the right, and that will import. You can also come over here to File and Import. If you're crazy like me and like to use the keyboard for everything, you can do Control-I, or you can have this uh, kind of not full screen, and you can drag and drop to, to import. But like I said, I use my keyboard, so I'm going to use my Control-I. I'm going to find my photo. Here's my photo I'm using. If you watched my other video where I showed you how to do this in Cricut Design Space, you'll know that this photo is old. Um, this guy here just turned 20, and this little guy right here is almost 19. So this picture is an old picture that I have. Anytime uh, when you first get into Inkscape, you want to make sure and lock um, your width and height, so that way they stay proportional. And it even tells you that when locked, that they'll change by the same proportion. And I'm just going to make this a little smaller so we can have it all on the screen here. So here is the photo that we're going to go ahead and convert. And again, I like Inkscape because there's more than one way to do, these, to do these things. I use the keyboard shortcuts, but you come up here to Path, and there's Trace Bitmap. I use the Shift-Alt-B because that's just what I'm comfortable using. They're all going to get you there. And that's going to pop up this trace bitmap box. So when I open this box for the first time, I go ahead and hit Live Preview because I like to be able to see what I'm doing so I can make all of my adjustments right here without having to click Update every time. So that's the first thing I do is hit Live Preview. And the second thing I do is click on Remove Background. And then these other things, it just kind of depends on the, the picture that I have and what I'm trying to do with it. So for taking this photo, I'm going to change over here to multiple scans, and I'm going to go to grays. All right? And then I'm going to uncheck the smooth box, but I'm going to leave my stacked scans. And what that's going to do is each gray that it comes up with is going to be the, whole, the same size as the whole picture, instead of just a little bit um, that it feels that that color should be. Then you can change your number of scans depending on what, what you're wanting to get out of here. So I'm going to leave this at the default, which is 8. All right? And then I'm going to hit OK. And you'll notice that this box stays on the screen, but the OK button is grayed out, but the Stop button could be clicked. I'm not going to click it, okay, because then that would stop the trace from happening. So I'm just going to wait for a minute until the OK button is there again. And there it is. So you would think that this box would close, but it doesn't. So we're going to go ahead and close this box because that means we're done tracing. And now they put that new image directly on top of the old one. So if you'll just kind of scoot it over off of it, and then we can delete this old one, or you can leave it there if you want to use it to look at to kind of determine which of these scans that you're going to keep. It's really up to you. All right, so I'll scoot it over. So these are my eight scans that we just made. So I'm going to click on that, and I've got to ungroup it. So again, the, the keyboard shortcut is Control-Shift-G. You can come over here on the right, and it's this one that has like a little rectangle and a circle that ungroups. Or you can go up here to Object, and then Ungroup. Okay, but we need to ungroup all of those. I'm going to wait for just a minute. Now they're ungrouped. 
So now what you do is you're going to look and see which one of these is going to work best for the project that you're trying to use. So I'm going to grab the first one, move it over, change it to black just so I can kind of see it. And when I look at this one, I'm like, well, I can't really see very much here in this, anything of the baby. So I'm going to delete that one. I'm going to grab the next one. Change that left. I actually like this one a little bit better because the details on my baby I'm gonna delete this one. Okay, I'm gonna grab the next one. Start I'm gonna kind of get a little dark on the shadows and stuff, so I don't want that one. And I don't want this one. Don't want that one. Definitely don't want that one. So this is the one that I'm going to go ahead and go with. And you can see that that would give me you know, a, a pretty decent uh, image that I can go ahead and cut out and then put on whatever it is that my project is going to be. And I can still tell what the image is. So hopefully this helps you. Oh, don't let me forget. Delete your original photo. I take this and I make it smaller um, and I put it inside my page border just so that way whenever I want to preview it, if I want to preview it later just out of my Windows Explorer, then I can. And then you'll just do a save as and let me find a spot to save that. And I'm just I'm say family photo, and you can save it as an Inkscape SVG or as a plain SVG. Uh, the only difference is an Inkscape SVG saves some metadata that a plain SVG doesn't, um, but they both upload into Cricut Design Space just fine. So hit save, you're done, and ready to go ahead and upload that into Cricut Design Space so that way you can cut it out. So I hope that helps you guys uh, take one of those pictures of one of your loved ones and finally be able to get that onto your project without any hassles. Have a great day.